Hi everybody, Bunny Berry here, 100 Day Ruffle Challenge. Where have I been? Hmm, hmm, where have I been? I have been on a mountain top. Actually, not a literal mountain top. I've been on a mountain top of pillows, lying, sitting, sitting up, thinking about my future. Trying to figure out what the heck I'm going to do. Because some of you, like me right now, um, yeah, life has thrown us a big curveball. And we've got to figure out the logistics of things like moving and selling a house. If we can possibly sell it before we go into foreclosure and, you know. All those things, all those things that just, eh, nobody wants to hear about, including me. Um, but I thought I would answer today one of the most pressing questions that I get. Bunny, how much weight have you lost since you started eating raw food? Hmm. This is a question that's kind of hard for me to answer because I am not one of those miracle raw food stories, okay? I have my own miracles that happen during my raw food transformation, such as I discovered that I have um, gluten intolerance and that um, I was basically poisoning myself with the food that I was eating. So for me, huge triumphs. Um, total, since I started last April 15th or 14th, I have lost 35 pounds. Now, I lost 30, and I gained 10 back during the holidays, so I had to lose those again, and I've lost five more since then. So, a total of 35 pounds in a year. I know, it doesn't sound like, woohoo, why should I be listening to you? But I am not here just for the weight loss. I am here because um, I really feel like this lifestyle has brought me so many joys other than weight loss, like such good friends and this wonderful community. And, you know, I did have a lot of health problems leading up to trying to lose that weight that are really just starting to just starting to heal up. For example, your skin is the largest organ in your body. And my skin, because of my wheat intolerance, I was not absorbing the amount of nutrients that I should have been absorbing. And my skin, basically every single pore in my skin was clogged. And I had, you know, the rash, the rash. Can we still talk about the rash? I had this terrible rash on my legs. And I feel like it took a full nine months for my skin problems to start to significantly show healing before um, much weight loss was even really noticeable in my body. But now I am starting to get um, a little bit of a waste. I don't know if you can see it in the sliding, but I am starting to get a little bit of a waste. It's not much, but it's something. And um, I'm happy with how things are going. And... I really want you to not be discouraged if you don't get on this diet and poof, lose 100 pounds like um, like Angela Stokes or poof, lose 200 pounds like Philip McCluskey. There are so many things that go into um, losing that kind of weight. You know, are you over 35? I am. You know, um, have you had kids? I have. 
Do you have polycystic ovary syndrome? I do. I'm not making excuses. I'm saying that everyone's body is biochemically different. And your results will come when they come. You just have to be persistent. And you have to just keep going. And, you know, you can hang those pictures up on your wall. You hang that photo of Philip from the centerfold of Raw Food Magazine up on your wall as an inspiration. And, you know, say he persevered and he did it. And that's what you need to do. Persevere and do it. But if it takes you two years, if it takes you three years, if it takes you four years, that's how long it takes you, honey. And that is okay because you're going to get where you want to be. So that's it, 35 pounds. I'm hoping, because my scale is going down right now, I'm hoping I'm going to hit the 40-pound mark by the end of June. And then I'm hoping... I'm going to hit maybe the 50 pound mark before I go to Ross Spirit Festival East. So that takes a lot of hard work. It takes determination. It takes, you know, being on program and being, you know, committed to detoxing and losing the weight. And I'll be there. I'll be there. I'm not worried. Look at my skin. My skin looks great. I'm happy. Even though I had to go to the mountaintop, do a little self-reflecting, it's good for all of us to do that now and then. Um, sometimes if you go to the mountaintop and you think and you reflect on your life, um, answers will come to you because everything that we need, um, everything we need is inside of us, you know, everything we need. Whether that means, you know, your creator lives inside of you, whether it means the Buddha, whatever. We don't talk about that stuff here, but everything lives inside of you that you need. And sometimes you have to quiet your mind and ask for it. So don't be afraid to ask. Even if it's asking why those last five pounds won't come off. I love you guys. Don't give up on yourself. Definitely don't give up on yourself over weight. Because every moment of this journey, there's something going on inside of your body that's healing. You may have had a really, really, really bad liver. And your body is spending the majority of its time with that freed up digestive energy just working on your liver. So give it time to heal the parts of your body that need healing before you start stressing and focusing on weight loss. That's my, that's my advice to you. And I love you. And I will see you tomorrow. Eat your veggies.